What would I say to the students? I'd say we're just really super proud of them. They've really adapted very rapidly to a very stressful and uncertain situation. Students, I have been so impressed at your flexibility and your diligence at trying to make this whole new setup work. To the Anchorage PA students, I'm a little bit embarrassed because I've been telling them that the key to happiness in PA school is flexibility. Um, but to be honest, I didn't realize uh, what flexibility meant until the pandemic took hold. I want to say that you got this. <laughs> I am really impressed with the way that you have taken these challenges on, how you have uh, worked through the whole change in your routine and your pattern and figured out what works for you. I realize this is very hard for all of the students and especially in a time that a lot of us are grieving when thousands of MedEx grads are working in the hospitals right now and working in highly responsible and even dangerous uh, positions. It is tough and I think it's really easy to spiral, but I think just taking it one moment at a time, one task on at a time, and we're going to get through this. I have to say that I'm very, very proud of you for the work uh, and effort that you've put in. Uh, and to being receptive to all the adjustments and changes that we've had to make over the last month or so. You guys are amazing. You have adapted through so much change and you've taken on these challenges and made sure that you respond to them in the medics way. To our students, I just want to say thank you for your continued patience and for your positive attitudes. It might not feel like it right now, um, but you're crushing it. It's been an honor to work with them through this situation, to have them as part of our program. I think everyone at MedEx, students, faculty, staff, has really risen to the moment. It's going to be one of those things that, that we're always going to remember, and that I'm, I'm proud to say that I didn't just go through it, but I went through it with this group of students, because I feel like this group of students, you guys are the ones who could do it. I'm just really um, amazed at how they've maintained their um, passion for learning, and that really inspires me to continue my passion for teaching. I do very much appreciate and all the faculty appreciate your your gentle and constructive criticism and your feedback to us and and you enabling us to make changes in the middle of the course as we knew we might have to do. I'm impressed every single day with how resilient you are and how far you've come especially in the face of these giant obstacles that we didn't anticipate. You know, we're all problem solvers and I think our patients and our communities are going to need, um, you know, us as problem solvers kind of equipped with these skills in the months and years ahead. And um, I just challenge all of the students and the faculty and the staff to stay engaged, to not let up, to stay in the fight and keep crushing it. They're doing a phenomenal job and they just need to stay the course. Stay patient with us, be flexible. Um, you know, we really are trying to uh, keep your PA educational journey on track and give you all the things that you need to do. The truth is the flexibility that, that you guys have demonstrated since the pandemic started has been beyond anything I would have asked you to do, but it's been absolutely 100% necessary for you guys to move on. You are really admirable and I am so proud to be one of your teachers. I'm super happy to keep working with you and to watch you progress throughout the program. And I love the days that we get to work together. It's actually been fun to see family members and pets on Zoom <laughs> with all of them to see uh, the other side of their life. I'm just grateful that you guys have taken ownership over your education and you I think you've really risen to the top. I applaud the way you've had, handled it individually and, and collectively. It's a, It speaks well for a MedEx a PA students. So I just want to thank them for continuing to be good students, to be motivated and to continue that passion to learn. Times are difficult right now but we're all coming together and we're all taking this one step at a time and I'm glad that I'm able to work with all of you and be a resource to all you wonderful people. And for our incoming students, the entire medics team is excited to present the first incoming orientation that will be held online 
and I cannot wait to see you on June 15th, 2020. You know, they're gonna be successful in spite of all this. I'm just proud, that's really it.